Yo, next up, we got what happened to iShow Speed's clone, copycat, whatever you want to call it, white boy M. I actually checked out his channel a few days ago. Not 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 like not like a week or week week ago or something like that. Huh. I mean, he's still doing the same type shit, just copying speed. But let's let's, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Why are you doing this? Where bro, I remember that, bro. Dante was clowning the fuck out of him, bro. Bro, my stuff hasn't gone blurry this whole time. Dante was clowning parents. the hell out of him, bro. This is like scary. This is like really scary for him. I don't think he should be doing this. White Boy M, the ISO speed copycat that was once one of the most hated and viral sensations on the internet. His mannerisms, his catchphrases. Are you serious right now, bro? <laughs> his content, his form. <laughs> exactly what everybody said would happen is what happened. It got old and it phased right the fuck out. It got old and it phased right the fuck out. Just like everybody said it would. You can't make you can't make a whole career off copying people. Off copying other people and trying to be just like someone else, you can't it's it's not gonna work. Chat, chat. People give his of facial it. expressions. Anything that I should speed did. The same thing white happened with all the bunch of sound And while many outed him for this strange behavior and brushed it off as short lived popularity, Emerson secretly had a plan to prove Emerson. every single critic wrong. So, what actually happened? And did White Boy M eventually fall off like everyone expected? Well, it's time to find out. The story begins in 2019, when a young Emerson started uploading various vlogs about his summer. He swam in pools, did much banks and challenged his friends however after uploading his first day of school huh. video he started taking content creation more <laughs> seriously and began bro. pursuing his dream of going viral at the time public interviews were extremely popular so white boy m started doing them all right today's question is if you was in six nines position would you snitch or would you stay silent stay silent both of y'all are snitching both both of them they're both snitching that's the actual answer to that question both of them if, they, if, if one of their homies got caught stealing a fucking candy bar, they're snitching. And despite him <laughs> not seeing any success with this, he did finally start understanding the concept of following trends and tried his luck with Omegle videos and eventually Fortnite as well. The last decision turned out to be his favorite, as he now turned into your typical cracked Fortnite montage kid called Bluffin, and he tried to grind his way into various community teams to get recognized. He got some support here and there, but nothing that really put him in the spotlight. So he tried becoming a designer, attempted to get the attention of Aiden Ross, continued <laughs> uploading Fortnite videos streamed on twitch and even sold masks during the pandemic emerson did any i just made a hundred this videos, nigga said, streamed on twitch and go back i just made a hundred and twenty dollars off selling masks that's it that's it was that supposed to be a flex my nigga <laughs> sold masks during the pandemic emerson did anything to get his money up and to achieve flex. his goals but the journey of an aspiring creator is tough as he faced various issues with his mental health and considered quitting plenty of times until he had an epiphany bluffin finally realized how he could grab the attention of the internet and that was by following in the footsteps of his idol aiden <laughs> ross he started posting videos on twitter where he suddenly became very vocal and energetic Energetic. I've actually had it, bro. I don't know why you guys are saying that people could be Alpsy in a 1v1, bro. And when he combined this with tagging massive Fortnite players in the community and showing off his dance moves, momentum finally started picking up. This Pixel is and they shared a video of Bluffin <laughs> to face this Ray who retweeted it. Spin. And this gave him the boost that he desperately wanted. However, he was hungry for more and aspired to grow bigger than the community that he was in. Emerson noticed that changing his personality into the most liked content creator at the time was highly effective for his growth and when he first discovered i show speed and took a liking to his hilarious persona he kept this in the back of his mind you see he and started the getting exact recognized same thing and support from some of the biggest fortnite players in the scene but then suddenly disappeared at the end of 2021 explaining in an update video that he had to delete a lot of his videos as he got suspended for filming inappropriate content on his school's campus what? and that he now had to come up with a new content plan this plan consisted out of his regular uploads at first said i i i I, I can't do it in the school no more. Fuck it. We going to Walmart, nigga. First, and things were actually going well. Yet, it wasn't the fame that he always wanted. We going so to Walmart. he came up with the most genius plan to blow up. And to everyone's surprise, it actually ended up working.
Bluffin had now officially rebranded to White Boy M, and the strategy of copying personalities of famous streamers got taken to a whole new level. I mean, we already knew that Emerson became a big fan of Aisha Speed over the year of 2021, and his dedication to consuming Thanks. his content allowed him to pull off the biggest stunt that he had ever done, becoming Aisha Speed himself. I never even realized that when you allowed flip it back, when the you, it's really the same. That he had ever it's done, damn near the same, bro. Iso Speed himself. He started he was copying, copying his everything. voice, his mannerisms, and his facial expressions, resulting in TikTok calling him out for it, and it grabbing the attention of one of his idols. However, this was only the beginning, as he took this opportunity and ran with it, making a diss track on Aisha Speed that went completely viral with over 3 million views. I don't remember hearing that. It was that. genius, oh, no, I as it immediately that. I caught the interest that out. of Aiden Ross and Aisha Speed himself, but they weren't impressed and Speed didn't enjoy it whatsoever, which ultimately set the tone for M's reputation. The thing is, a fun innocent copycat like this could be the internet's biggest hero when Speed and other creators found it funny and appreciated the humor behind it. Yet, Facts. this wasn't the case when- Yeah, Speed just thought it was fucking lame, so then everybody else was like, oh, yeah, no, lame, Everyone lame. took his trolling <laughs> nah, way too it's serious, lame as fuck. with Kaisenet criticizing his content. I don't think right now, bro, the way you acting right now, I don't think it's gonna go far for you. And the rest of the internet clowning right on. Now? This resulted in not only a wave of attention and him hitting 50,000 subscribers, but also a ton of hate from fans of these streamers and other critics. Yet, it didn't stop his impact on the community. As is, are you serious right now, catchphrase, became a true phenomenon are in you serious internet right culture. Now? In fact, White Boy M appreciated all the attention, positive or negative, as it was all part of his plan of blowing up. And it wasn't long before he got 100,000 subscribers on YouTube and his silver play button. Because of this, Patrick CC noticed the trajectory that his teenager was on and came out with a video calling him the most embarrassing Aisha Speed copycat, which got over 2.4 million I views as it fed into the hate and bad reputation that White Boy M already had. And in this video, he downplayed his success by claiming in the title that this was his 11 minutes of fame, labeling him as an average Aiden Ross viewer, and ending the video with a speech about how he didn't grind for years like you're supposed to as a creator and that his career will come crashing down as a result of his quick rise to fame. This documentary resulted in a lot of reactions agreeing with everything that he said. Literally, made... Patrick didn't miss on that one. Everything he said about that People was correct. realized that he's just incredibly good at trolling and not harming anyone. So was this reaction by all of these big creators really necessary? Was it really that serious? And would the copying eventually become his downfall? It was content. Easy content. What well, you mean? Kaisenet and Patrick easy had content. a point. White Boy M couldn't do this forever. Attention Thanks. and trends on social media don't last a lifetime. And when you pair your relevancy to the relevancy of another streamer, you're playing a dangerous game. But what everyone... Who wants to watch that shit? ...one seemed to miss know. is that Emerson was smarter than he looked. This was his strategy from the beginning, from when he first started seeing momentum with attention-grabbing Twitter videos. And he has nowadays switched to his own personality again after the peak of his fame. White Boy M streams currently feature his regular voice and mannerisms. Y'all see the new camera though? Like y'all can see my whole room. That is not his regular voice. What the fuck are you talking about? Go to the old videos from back in the day. That is not his voice. What are you talking about? He has a loyal fan base on YouTube that watches his vlogs. He gains thousands of subscribers every month. Has a TikTok with more than 2 million followers on which he gets crazy views with his dance moves. And maintains an active Instagram with more than 150,000 followers. In in fact, the hate seems to have faded, and not many people recognize him as the iShow speed clone anymore. No, 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 stop lying. Everyone still recognizes him as that. What? Only a few mentioning it and others shutting this hate down quickly. Also, he is making stupendous amounts of money from the audience he built up, with him flexing stacks of cash almost every week. Money spreader, you're broke. Him having an ice touch chain spreader, and a car broke. chain watch that are worth tens of thousands of dollars, and him promoting various companies on his social media, all at only 16 years old. Now, of course, him buying these depreciating assets resulted in a lot of criticism as well, with some even claiming that he was going to lose all of his money. But the man is only a facts for that. You gotta save that shit. You ain't supposed to be spending that shit. You gotta save that shit at the start teenager and clearly knows what it means <laughs> to stay relevant even coming I mean, out shit, those we'll that see. doubted 
is he really relevant though? Like who who the fuck is still watching White Boy M? Like for real though, who the fuck is still watching this nigga? The <laughs> long term success of his career and making them look foolish. White Boy M showed everyone that he simply I just heard his name since speed Patrick as a CC video to show off his real talents. As he's appreciated a lot for his dancing skills on TikTok, his fashion sense on Instagram, and his entertaining vlogs on YouTube. I mean, he even went on a school tour where kids were literally screaming for him. And him making the day of many children during this event. So is White Boy M? Damn, we're we're really failed. Damn, the damn whatever. The world's gonna burn. The world's gonna fucking burn, bro. That's crazy. That's really crazy. The world's gonna fucking burn. Damn. He did this embarrassing, damn. prophetic ISO speed copycat that ruined the art of content This is what creation. we got next. I don't think so. This is, this is fact, what's coming I up. I think that a harmless troll who found a success by impressively copying one of the biggest streamers and making people laugh successfully executed a brilliant plan. And that the hate surrounding him got blown hugely out of proportion. He obviously never cared about the hate. And still doesn't to this day. So I'm curious to see how White Boy M will develop as a creator and how the rest of his career will unfold. I mean, Finding shit. out if the haters eventually yeah. get proven right or yeah. that this young vlogger with a sense for virality and an unmatched determination keeps doing the impossible i guess only time will tell i hope you yeah i guess I, I i guess only time will tell we'll see what happens we'll see what happens i still have my money on the ladder on what everybody is assuming is gonna happen but i guess we'll see i guess we'll fucking see